What's happening, guys? It's Patrick, Mitten Outdoors. Two weeks ago, I sat down and talked to you guys about a tornado that blew through here. <laughs> yeah, EF3 tornado blew through um, five miles from here. Did a lot of damage, took out two of our schools, lots of houses, lots of people misplaced. Um, several deaths. Only, I think it was only one or two here, my town. But there was others nor, uh, east of us in Cookville, Tennessee, which sustained some of the worst tragedies. And then a meek two weeks later, we have a pandemic on our hands. Crazy. You've heard that same March comes in like a lamb, goes out like a lamb. However it goes. I'm ready for the lamb part. Really am. Um, took our daughter grocery shopping with us this past week. I wanted her to see what this is all about. What's going on. And I told her, I said, one day you'll be able to tell your kids. Yeah, and I remember in 2020 when there was no food on the shelves. I will say my wife has done really good grocery shopping. We've always had enough, you know, food reserves. Of course, if I really had to get into the MREs, I could. Rather not. This is not that kind of deal. This is going to be over with before we know it. We just got to calm down. We got to take care of one another, for one. Um... Two, we got to respect everybody. That's a long, that goes a long way when you respect one another more. Um, these people that are hoarding stuff and these people that are going to the stores every morning when they open up and buying out the store, you know, buying as much as they can buy and go back the next day and do the same damn thing. And don't tell me it's not happening because I know it's happening. News crew busted a guy doing it. Here locally. I just think that's, that's as low as you get right there. Because not only are you taking food out of families that need it mouth. Because Lord knows you should have plenty by now. That's not how you prep for this. This is not how you prep. My God, there's, there's so many channels on here that talk about prepping. How to prep and all that stuff. And just... Beating the darn store up every time it opens up just to make yourself feel better is not how it's done. And you make us that do prep look bad. Now, all you guys that blew your wads on buying up all the ammo, you're in the same bucket. I think it's never enough ammo. It always says, you know, if you want to stockpile ammo, you go in once a week, you buy, you pick a caliber or two, and buy a box of ammo. You do that for a year, and after a while, you've got a bunch saved up. I'm not going to say I have a bunch saved up, but I have enough to protect myself. Um, I guess the grocery store part makes, makes me the maddest of anything. I, I don't understand. I just don't understand some people and their thought process. Um, you're not a prepper. I can tell you that right now. You're not a prepper at all. No. You're not a prepper. You're a damn loser is what you are. To go out and every day buy up everything you can. That's just bullshit. I don't cuss on my channel, but just seeing how that's happening right now is just blows my mind guys we will survive it we have survived bigger we have survived worse we've been through world wars we've been through 9-11 we we will we'll do it again you know it um you know i pray for all the people that um don't have i mean there's people in my town that don't have a house now be those guys. They're living with friends. They're living with family. They don't have any place to go back to. 
They don't, the only place they can quarantine to is their, their relative's basement or something like that. Wilson County, where I live, only has six people infected right now, which is really good. That's awesome. Um, a lot of us are staying home. I stayed home this weekend. Well, I'll take it back. I went out for a few minutes. Went and picked up some food at a local restaurant to help support the local restaurants. So what I'm going to say is, is um, I want to uh, I want y'all to practice stay home for one weekend, this weekend. Um, we did it this past weekend. I'm probably going to go out hiking. If you don't stay home, go visit a state park. Go visit a state park. Break a record with us. Uh, I think it's awesome that you know we we uh, the state parks are doing so well. That's awesome. National parks are doing well. I know there's a few out there that are closed. And I know here they've closed the, um, the um, well, welcome centers at all the parks and stuff. They're all closed. Restaurants are closed. And I get that. And I understand that. I understand all this. I understand it. And I think it will help us come out faster on the good end of this thing than if we just kept things rolling the way they were rolling. I believe if we kept rolling the way we were rolling, we'd have way more sick, way more dying. And I think our economy would be worse off than what it is now. I, I kind of believe that our economy will come back. I'm not saying that we're going to come back 100%. I'm, I think it's going to take a little time. I think uh, we're going to lose some businesses out of this. I hope not, but I think we will. That's sad. So what I will, another thing I will play, uh, say to you guys is go support your local mom and pop stuff that are going to be hanging on by a thread. Not these big chains. I'm talking about the mom and pop stuffs. The little restaurant, the five and dime, or the meat and three over here, or the Bob's Dairy Dip over there. Go support them. Go support the hell out of these guys. They need it more than anybody. Because they're the ones that will probably lose out on this if we don't. So anyways, guys, I will try to get out this weekend. I do have some other videos coming up that I've kind of pushed forward a little bit. Because I want to get this one up tonight. Or tomorrow night. For Tuesday. I hope all of y'all come out on the other end of this 100%. Hope we all do. Hope we lose nobody off of this. And the ones we've lost, may God be with them. And may God be with y'all and our country. And everybody in the world is affected by this. So, don't forget, wash your hands. <laughs> wash your hands, cough here. And uh, one more thing. Be prepared but you don't have to do it all at once.